Godzilla vs. Christmas. Jack loves Christmas. He loves decorating the tree. He loves singing carols. He loves giving presents. And this season room is out of idea. But there is one thing that Jack doesn't like. Brussels sprouts! Jack hated sprouts so much. He'd never even eaten them. And he never would. Unlike his sister Ruby. Eating sprouts will do you good, she said. I'd rather chew on a tire whilst tickling a tub of tarantulas, said Jack. Sprouts ruin Christmas. Jack couldn't imagine anything worse than eating them. But there was something worse. Something much worse. Sprouts eating you! Which is what nearly happened when his parents brought home Sproutzilla! He was the meanest, greenest, Christmas ruining vegetable ever and things were about to get a lot worse as he stomped out of the door with his army of Sproutlings. In no time at all they were splashing, smashing and crashing Christmas everywhere. With the sprouts on the rampage, everybody, everyone had to be ordered to move inside, even the poor snowman. But there was one person with a very special job, Christmas job, who just couldn't stay inside. And he was flying through the air, straight towards Sproutzilla. Oh no, he was mean and green, and soon he would be gobbling up Santa. Who could stop this mean green menace? Not the furious mums and dads. Not the extremely angry dinner ladies, not even these boiling mad chefs. Sproutzilla was unstoppable. As Sproutzilla got closer and closer to Santa, Jack and Ruby realised something. Frozen peas and even the stickiest puddings fried by extremely angry dinner ladies wouldn't stop them. To save Christmas, Jack would have to do the one thing he vowed him that he vowed never to do. Something worse than chewing on a tire whilst tickling a tub of tarantulas. He'd have to eat sprouts. He didn't want to, but he did. Jack took a bite, and then another, and soon he realised that Sprouts was sort of, kind of, not bad at all. At least, at last, Sproutzilla was no more. See, I told you eating Sprouts would do you good, said Ruby. Did it? You stopped Sproutzilla, cheered Santa. Well done, you clever children. But ho ho no, Christmas isn't safe yet. I still have lots of presents to deliver and time is running out. There had to be some way of getting Santa's, Santa's sleigh back into the air. But how? Then Jack and Ruby's tummy started to rumble. Luckily, Santa knew. Santa knew what happens when you eat lots and lots of sprouts. Quick, hop in, he cried. Just as Jack and Ruby let a great big... <laughs> There was 
has just enough power to get every last present delivered. In no time, the sleigh had landed safely outside Jack and Ruby's house. We really did save Christmas, smiled Jack. Well, maybe, you see, Sparkzilla has a, had a friend.